Welcome back. We have found our family lawyer, Harald Uvegrau, according to the letter he sent us. Now let's talk to him. We have lots of topics to cover, it seems. I suppose that's your name on the marquee. Uh, I'm sorry? Ubergrau, Hoffman and Schnell. Ah, uh, actually, no. Um, this is my grandfather's firm. I'm just a junior partner. And I, my assignment to your family was no insult. I was chosen because of my English. Um, I took my law training at Harvard, you see. <laughs> Hell, son. I, I don't care if you're a junior partner or a mail clerk. I'm just glad somebody's taking care of the paperwork. Um, you know, the firm has the utmost respect for the Ritters. I will do everything possible in your behalf. Appreciate it. I guess the Ritters were well respected. What can you tell me about Munich? Is there anything special I should know about Munich? No, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, you've picked up a little German, haven't you? You've been here, what, um, almost a year? Uh, no, I, I, I mean, I have been here that long, I, but my faculty for languages leaves some to be desired. <laughs> well, most Germans speak a little English. If you need anything translated, you can always bring it to me. In my experience, the uh, English of most Germans is reasonably good. At least most of the Germans I've dealt with. They're not quite at the level of the Dutch uh, people, of course. But then we are known for our English skills. And um, particularly I think that is because the Dutch subtitle TV shows. So we are exposed to English quite a lot on TV. Whereas Germans dub everything. Your letter mentioned that the title transfer for the Ritter estate went through. Uh, yes, we had a bit of a task proving that you were a legitimate blood heir, but um, well, that's all settled now. I must tell you, we were beginning to get quite worried about the Ritter Holdings. My, but we've had a policy, my grandfather really, of um, waiving our fees for important old accounts, but unfortunately the government is not so generous. It was quite a miracle when you appeared, Mr. Knight. <coughs> Prodigal son makes good. I wonder what this law firm would think if they knew where some of that money came from. I mean, some of it is from the sales of Gabriel's book, but I'm guessing the larger sum of it is uh, from the Voodoo Hound for Dirty money. Do you know anything about the mutilation killings? The mutilation killings? Well, no, I... Oh, my God, Hanai, is, is that what you're researching here in Munich? I read your last book, you know. Really? Well, that's above and beyond the call of duty. Not at all. I love detective fiction. Philip Marlowe, all that. The uh, voodoo murders. That was based on a real case, was it not? Loosely. <laughs> so you know nothing about the mutilation killings? Well, only that those missing zoo wolves have attacked and partially eaten people out in the country. If you are researching this case and I, I would be happy to assist. It's rather exciting, isn't it? I mean, you don't plan on getting too um, close to the actual wolves, I hope. I'd rather not. Well, thanks for your offer. I may take you up on that. We're not planning it, no, but... These things kind of always seem to happen, don't they? I mean, we weren't exactly planning for a close encounter with snakes and voodoo cults and whatever, either, so... I guess uh, we can already use some of his um, research connections by asking him where we can get our wolf samples analyzed. Do you know anyone with a background in animal biology? Animal biology? Uh, for your research? Right. Hmm, let me think. Um, I have one client who's a professor at the university. Uh, maybe he knows someone there. L let me check. Uh, 
Ja, Herr Dr. Speigel, bitte. Herr Dr. Speiger? Ja, wie geht's Ihnen? Ich bin's, Übergrau. Mhm. Ich bräuchte den Namen eines Experten in Tierbiologie. Oh, das könnte funktionieren. Ja? Ja, sehr gut. Recht herzlichen Dank. Ihnen auch. Auf Wiederhören. So. Kurt, there is a lab at the University Biology Department. They may be able to help you there. But just tell them Herr Dr. Speigel sent you. Sounds great. Thanks. Good. We'll have to, talk, uh, have to check that out later. Well, I may, may know what the word Yangchen means, but I don't think Gabriel knows, so I guess we should ask um, Harald here. What is a Jagshan... Jagshan? Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, Yagshan. Uh, it is a permit for killing animals, you know, a sport. You mean hunting? It's a hunting license? Yes, hunting license. What would a zoo official want with a hunting license? And we can also ask him about the hunting lodge. Have you ever heard of the Königlich Bay Rich Hofjad Lodge? Uh, Königlich Bayerische Hofjagdloge. Hmm, uh, no, it sounds like a men's sport club. What does the name translate to exactly? Oh, the Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge, more or less. A hunting lodge, huh? Well, well. I already knew that. And of course, I knew that on my first playthrough, before talking to him as well. Because my German may be bad, but it's good enough to figure those kind of words out. I don't have anything else to say right now. I guess so. We're out of topics, and we have nothing to show him either, as far as I'm aware. So, let's um, head on out. Well, at least he was helpful. He seems nice enough. We may be able to use him. After all, we um, are here on our own without Grace to do our research, so it's nice to have someone who can help uh, Gabriel with the things that he is less qualified to deal with. Well, I guess I'd better get going. Well, enjoy your stay. Well, I guess we should uh, go and check out the university, but actually first I would like to uh, uh, look around a little bit more here. Actually, can I look at those signs? First, no, that's just... Sometimes the click spots are a bit overly large. It looks like this is for the sign, but it's all for the butcher. Warmer Lebekas. Okay. Nice. Um, Alright, let's head to the right here. You can actually skip long scrolling scenes like this one um, is by using the fast forward icon at the top of the screen, but I'll walk past it at the moment. Because there's also some stuff we can look at. Like uh, this shop. Cuckoo clocks. Cuckoo clocks. How German. Cuckoo clocks. Well, I guess they're mostly associated with uh, Switzerland, but they are a German invention, I believe. Maybe later. I've got other things on my mind at the moment. I guess Gabriel is not in the market for a cuckoo clock. But, again, notice that he did not say never. He said later. I guess there's no wind today. There's more shops here. Swiss and German watches. I guess we're not in the market for that either. Buy a present for Grace. I'm sure she would like that. Then again, that would be a bit too thoughtful for someone like Gabriel, wouldn't it? 
There's a gate here, and we can uh, go through it. I don't think there's anything important behind it, but we can go through it. Actually, we don't so much go through it as just look at the uh, city hall, which is adjacent to the uh, Marienplatz, the new city hall, anyway. And that's the Marian Column, with a statue of the Virgin Mary on it. She almost seems to be watching me. I guess that's intentional? I don't know. And that's the Glockenspiel. That must be the famous Munich Glockenspiel. They perform little uh, things on certain times. They're sort of like an elaborate clockwork thingy. You cannot see the performances in the game though, as far as I'm aware, which is kind of a shame. This doesn't serve any purpose, it's just uh, tourism, I guess, showing off Munich. And for those of you who did not know that this was the, the uh, new city hall... Rathaus. That's a town hall. Riddersburg has one too. Yeah, most towns have uh, have one. Neues Rathaus. It's not a rat house, it's a Rathaus. Rat meaning council. Anyway, about von Georg von Hauberisse in den Jahren 1867, 1908. Okay, I, I guess that's when it was really built. I'm not entirely sure of that, but I see no reason why they would put wrong dates on this. I'm guessing this is probably a photograph of an actual sign there, so... There's lots of garbage cans here, but you can't actually click on any of them. This disturbs my uh, sensibilities as an adventure gamer. Another shop. Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. I don't understand that stuff even when it's in English. A bit above your station, isn't it? I'm betting they don't carry the voodoo murders here. Lots of Nietzsche and... Although, then again, why wouldn't they? If the book is doing as well as... Um, Grace is saying. I don't know if there's a German translation, though. They might have an English book section somewhere in the back. Bicycles. And we have reached the end. Ooh. Street musicians. And they're playing all the saints. Nice little callback to Jackson Square here. They're busy. Apparently we can't interrupt them. We can't give them money either. Which is kind of a shame. Would have been a nice touch. A fountain. No comment? I guess not. Dienerstrasse. Hmm. Haven't we heard that name before? And I actually checked on uh, the map of Munich on Google Maps, and in fact, the Dienerstrasse is ad adjacent to uh, the uh, to the um, Marienplatz. So they're actually correct there. Unfortunately, I don't know if any of the shops uh, here are correct, and I definitely don't think there's any uh, hunting lodges in this street in real life. I tried to see, but most of the this bit of the of the uh, Dienerstrasse is, is, as you can see by this sign, it's barely visible, is a Fußgängerzone, or a pedestrian zone. Cars not allowed. Which means that Google has no street view of this particular area of the street. It has uh, it has it for further down the street, but not for not for this part. So I can't really see if the buildings are in any way accurate. Um, there's a couple of things we can look at here. I think one of them is a post office, meaning we can mail our letter to Grace. Which is good. 
Better mail that letter to Gracie. Alright, I guess that's that taken care of. Well, we'll see if we can't find that hunting lodge in this street in the next video.